Welcome to the Surge 2 full walkthrough, including all DLC, weapons, items, content, quests, you name it, all of the alternate boss kills, I'm going to get you all of the goodies. So let's get into the game. What if machines were pure? A basic universal concept without morals or destiny. Yet because they are created like humans, inheriting all their countless imperfections, how could machines ever be better than us? Would they not, by design, follow the path of their creators and, in the end, fail? Now, for character creation, uh, I recommend that you choose Mining Wars Veteran for your background. You can make male or female, make them look however you want. It doesn't really matter, but um, for the backgrounds, Mining Wars Veteran gives you the earliest possible access to two very important implants that I almost never take off of my build as early as possible. So you can buy one of them off of Molly, which is the vendor in Seaside Court, the other um, from Dr. Sorensen in um, Gateway Bravo. You can also choose Search and Rescue and get access um, to the same implant that Molly sells. However, you have to get the second implant from a chest along with all of these other uh, backgrounds. These guys have to wait for the Kraken DLC content to be available to get the first implant. That's the easiest place to find it. So I'll show you where you can uh, find both of those implants. And I'm going to choose Search and Rescue Officer just so I can show you getting that implant from that chest. Um, but Probably the best way to go is Mining Wars Veteran, unless you really care about the backstory. In which case, you can still get the implants, but you just have to get them later. Um, and you can go ahead and, and make your character look however you want. Um, you know, doesn't really matter, doesn't impact the gameplay. Um, I'm going to make my guy look something like this, I guess. This outfit. This outfit, I think, looks good with um, pretty much all of the armor sets. So I tend to go with this one. Um, and I think overall, decent, decent looking enough uh, male avatar. The female avatars all look pretty decent, but the male avatars, they all look old for some reason. Don't know what the deal is. But in any event, uh, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. Okay, so we're going to get into the game. I uh, hope you have a character now that looks good for you. And let's continue on with the story. Medical report TS-1. Our new patient has been in a semi-delirious state for weeks. The subject seems to be reliving traumatic memories of Flight 221. A girl some sort of anomaly. It's not over. But this can't be true. There was only one survivor in the craft.
as you wake up here in the med bay, first thing you're going to want to do is run back here and get this key card. This is Warden Garcia. We've located a major security breach. All prisoners stay in their cells. Robotic guards have been deployed. And we're not going to listen to Garcia. Instead, we're going to come out here and fight this drone. The easiest way to defeat these guys is just to hold the block and then attack them um, after they've hit you with their attack. It gives you a little window of opening where you can't get damaged. Number PS2. The patient you brought me some weeks ago is still in coma. I cannot determine if he's infected. Sirs, I am just level one doctor in a police detention facility, but I do not recommend transfer. Not yet. And there's our Nano Beast buddy who's going to help us escape the prison. creep up behind this guy and get a backstab if you're quick enough. And you also notice that you can, after you lock on to a target, um, you're able to rotate uh, your right stick on your controller and that'll let you target the various body parts. Um, for these guys, going for their head will, will stagger them instantly. Um, so you probably want to uh, just go for the head on each of these guys. And you've got three guys down here. Um, avoid the thrown rocks when they toss them at you. You got three guys down here, one up above with a weapon, and you want to make sure you take out these three before you start messing with this guy. He's got a big swing radius, so you want to make sure that you're away from that swing, and then you go in and attack his head. Up to the left, we've got Ben Burke. You can't get him out. Please, you gotta let me out. I'm not a criminal. Just an average Joe. So we'll have to come and free Benjamin from his cell after we get our rig. Don't go in that door over there yet. Instead, you want to come around the side here and get a little bit of uh, tech scrap. Not a lot, but hey, every little bit helps, right? heard him. Failure is not an option. We're about to face Nitro, our first boss or mini boss. He's not all that difficult. Um, for him, you're going to want to tar target his head, bait the attacks, and when you do, make sure you've got enough space that you don't get hit. He's got a couple of combos. One are um, sort of overhead swings that he just does once, or um, swinging from lower to upper, uh, just one swing. If he swings to the sides, then he's going to do a three hit combo, so you want to make sure you maintain distance. You can just go ahead, um, go for his head, bait the attack, that's his three hit combo. Go in, you can hit three times, but if you do, you risk um, getting hit by that. So better to do two if you're worried about getting hit. Um, if you're feeling confident, you can go for three hits, kill him a little bit faster. Um, but you can even do four towards the end there. Um, you'll get it quick enough. But if you're having problems with him, just do two back out and continue fighting. So that gives us uh, access to the med bay. Pick up the audio log over here. You are now eligible to redeem your customized MG XO Rig Mark 12. Surgery is a thing of the past. The new MG is faster, more powerful, and sleeker than ever. Once you strap it on, it is melt with your molecules in a flash. Now, for leveling up, what you're going to want to do is just focus on your battery efficiency spending your module points um, and the reason why you want to do that is you want to get battery efficiency to 75 as quickly as possible um, so we'll increase battery efficiency all the way up first before touching health and stamina the reason for that is twofold one it gives you access to your fourth and fifth battery as you uh, raise your battery efficiency 
It also makes your heals more efficient, you get better energy gain, your batteries last longer, and since your batteries can fully top up your health as you increase your battery efficiency, you're better off increasing your batteries because that gives you sort of unlimited health rather than boosting your health, which just lets you make, take more hits before you die. Now, it is a little bit of a risky strategy, um, but it turns out that it works better to do it this way um, in the long run. And your stamina, I mean, you'd regenerate that really quickly anyway in one of the sets we're going to be using um, up until we beat little Johnny um, just after that will give you better stamina and regeneration anyway, so you can do more stamina. So just focus on battery efficiency for now. The metamorphosis is so seamless, you neither know nor care which functions are still performed by your own body. Let MG take control of your nervous system and take back control of your life. And per that tooltip um, on the right, uh, you saw that if you hold the B button, that lets you store charges in your metavoltaic injector. So we've got two implants right now. Metavoltaic injection is like your flasks in Dark Souls, and you charge that by getting energy. There's no bonfire, um, although the um, med bays are considered the equivalent of bonfire, um, and you can restore a couple of charges. It's not like you get 20 charges by resting in a med bay. You have to generate energy in order to store more charges. So you can see max free charges right now. I can store two. Later on that increases and I'll be able to store more charges, but for now we're stuck with two. The other implant that we have is the Omni Health Observer, um, which lets you see the health and stability bars of locked on enemies. So I always leave those two slotted. This one works well with your um, battery nice efficiency. Day, now for this guy, we're going to want to sneak up on him, get a backstab, and target his right arm so that we get the sever. You hold the X if you've got enough energy, so be sure you've got enough energy from your hits in order to get the chop off the arm. That'll give you the salvage gouger, decent enough weapon to use at this point in the game. A little bit later we'll get a better one, um, but for now I'm going to use this. We'll get two more weapons here, neither of which I'm going to use. We're going to come back out here and rescue Ben Burke. For this guy, you can just target his right arm, use R1 or R button attacks, and then Please go for the center. You can open the door with the ring. That gives you the equalizer. Um, slow weapon, not a big fan. Shit. Thank you. I was beginning to lose hope. I'd love to repay you, but as you might guess, I'm a bit broke right now. I hope I'll see you again. Benberg never leaves the debt unpaid. I heard there's an evacuation camp in the city. Gateway Bravo or something. Gonna try my luck there. I always wanted to be a search and rescue guy. Maybe we'll see each other around. You heard about Creo, right? Well, I was there. Damn government goons came. Thought I was finally safe. But they wouldn't let me go. Even after I told them all about what happened. Something like a power surge went through the whole system. Melted circuits and brains alike. And the whole damn factory tore itself apart. I lost my whole team in there. Even Smokey. But this time I swear I'll keep people safe. No, damn it, I'm not okay. Haven't been okay in weeks. People are killing each other for scraps out there. It's complete anarchy. I can only pray we make it out in one piece. But even if we do, I have no idea what's waiting for us. Come to the evac camp. I'll be there. Ben, you'll run into later at Gateway Bravo. And he also was nice enough to give you his locker key. So we'll get a weapon from that. But for now, we want to take out these two guys. No need to go for the sever there. We'll use the extra energy to charge up our battery. Same with this one. He's not going to drop anything. And we'll open up this door. Two reasons for that. There's an audio log back here. And there are going to be some tough guys in here later that we don't want to pull at the same time. Yeah. 
change anything. A state of the art containment wall has been erected to quarantine the area. Not what this is about, okay? Just take care of it. Stay strong. But most importantly, stay inside. So am I. We'll talk. So you can watch the TV if you want and listen to their dialogue. Ben's locker is over here, so we'll open that and get the INF chest. Decent enough weapon, uh, but I prefer the ranged on the spear, so I'm going to stick with the spear. Up to you what you prefer. They're kind of equivalent in ability. I just prefer the spear moveset, you know? Nobody gets out on my watch! Back. Damn you, Garcia. Alright, so you come over here and you'll pick up your directional block analyzer. Go into your inventory, equip that, or just hit right or left um, direction pad when you first pick it up and it'll automatically equip it. That lets you see the direction that attacks are coming in, so you can directionally block. Directionally blocking is a hugely important skill and will make the game much, much easier if you get good at it. So you just hold the the uh, left button or L1 and match the direction of the attack with the right timing uh, to deflect the attack and open up a window oops I missed that one open up a window of vulnerability miss that one too <laughs> there we go and you can still get this ever if you've got enough uh, energy left um, there's no need to really do directional blocks on these guys little vision here. Um, for these ones you don't really have to directionally block, uh, just targeting their right arm and doing uh, the R button or R1 attacks and then going for the sever is sufficient and we actually want to make sure that we get the sever so we have enough tungsten alloy uh, to upgrade our weapon before the boss. So we've got three enemies here so it's actually safer to do that but if you're having challenges um, figuring out how to do the directional blocks. I suggest you just practice on these guys, get used to the timing, uh, and you'll thank me later. There you can see our giant nano beast buddy. Wait, come back. Um, and he's got us some loot. Now this opens up the gateway that uh, Garcia just locked on us. And when you run up here, as soon as you hit this button, you're going to want to sprint to the end of the hall. So you've got a limited time to make it to the room. Once you do that, you'll get this automatic inject charger, which I don't really use. Um, but I'll equip it anyway, since I have that's the only other implant that I have, and I have the battery capacity. And then we'll ignore the boss and come right back down here reason for that is we want to upgrade a couple of things. We'll get one more level for our battery. Helps out with the boss a little bit. And we want to upgrade our spear. So for upgrading we now have three tungsten alloy. So we can upgrade the spear. Um, we don't have enough to upgrade the metavoltaic injector yet. But we'll get that uh, after we get out into town. Um, one of the things that you can do too, if you're low on batteries, is you can go to the med bay, come out here, charge your implant, go back to the med bay, that'll reset the first aid station. So you can charge it up again, make sure you've got two charges before you go in and fight the boss. For the boss himself, um, you're going to want to target his right arm right out of the gate and just leave your target lock on the right arm the entire time. Um, charged attacks are the safest way for you to get the right arm, so you'll bait his attack back off, he does a jumping attack towards you, so if you're strafing, strafing back into the left, that attack will miss you entirely, and then you can do a charge attack um, with R1 and hit his right arm and break his armor eventually. That's the safest way to do it. You can also directionally block his attacks and get some extra hits in. Um, the R1, R2, R2 combo is also fairly effective in helping break his armor. So I'll show you all of that, but you also want to keep the pillar between his drone and you, because his drone will shoot at you. Alright, 
So we target the right arm out of the gate, back off to the left. That's a jump attack. Whoops, he got stuck on the pillar. Um, you can, this combo there is a little bit dangerous. So he does three hits. He does three hits and then the, uh, the uh, he launches a missile at you. So you can, that's an attack that I'm talking about, the launching attack. Um, you can go ahead and uh, directionally block that if you want, or you can just strafe to the left like that and go for a charge attack. You can also directionally block those attacks if you're good. Ignore the missiles that he launches, just kind of back away a little bit, bait the jump attack, and there you go. You can just do that for the entire fight. Makes it really easy. Um, I'm going to engage him a little bit more though. Make sure you jump back from that because he will uh, do a lot of damage if he hits you with the unblockable. When he jumps up in the air, always back out. Um, I could bait these attacks too. Ah, missed it. So, bait these attacks. Uh, he's got with the rocket again. My parry timing is off a little bit today. want to make sure you've got enough energy um, and you've done enough shield damage so you can see that green um, oops, that green armor around his arm I mean, it's, means it's an armored piece whereas the blue before meant that it was all uh, unarmored so you want to make sure with these that you break the armor and get it all that green to red and that'll let you sever the armor piece so you got to be kind of a little bit careful um, to make sure that you've got enough energy and you've done, done enough damage to the armor piece to actually get the sever. So there we go, we've got the execute. And we'll get the MG Jackknife Pro. And we also got the AAD Nightfall Arm here. I'll show you both of those. So this set uh, is convenient. We can now buy the rest of it from Molly or we can farm it. We're actually going to farm it um, to save tech scrap, but we'll need that to, we'll need to craft that to give it to the stranger a little bit later for another quest. Um, it's also a decent enough uh, set, but we, I prefer a different set that we'll get a little bit further on in the episode. So we won't have to craft that for now. Um, for the weapon, MG Jackknife Pro, it's got good impact, great energy gain. Um, it doesn't scale all that well in the long run, but for now it's a decent enough weapon if you want to swap to that, if you prefer slower weapons and stagger. I'm going to stick with the Salvage Gouger for now. Before long we'll get a, an even better weapon. So whenever you see those sort of nano swarms or storms like that, uh, you want to step into them. You get a vision and some kind of an item, usually a weapon. This time we get a girl's toy. Can you hear the music? Oh, Fortix, find the planet. Now when you're picking up Omni cells, that is ammunition for your drone. You're going to use your drone to take out that drone over there. So now you got some ranged attacks. As long as you got om omni cells, pick up all the omni cells over here. Um, loot, battery. There's more omni cells here. Um, and you see these tags like graffiti. This is other players trying to help you out normally. Um, so if you see a tag that you find helpful, then go ahead and like that uh, tag. That'll give the player who um, dropped the tag little bit of props and, and tech scrap. Always feels good when you get a little tech scrap for one of the tags that you dropped. All right, so now I actually wanted to sort of jump back over from here, but I fell down. 
So you just jump back this way, um, and then you'll Hello? hear Brother Truman. Can you hear me? My name is Brother Truman. I'm waiting outside. Take care of those guys, and I'll turn on the lift. Alright, so you target these guys' head. Well done. Take the lift them out. Work again. And we'll go outside and meet Brother Truman. As you come out here, you'll see if you have DLCs, which you should have at least the free DLCs. Um, you've got a bunch of DLC content that'll be activated. That doesn't mean that you get it. You do, now that you have the drone, um, you do have one drone module uh, that you get from the DLC content, which is the loot scan.exe radar. Kind of handy, it lets you see objects uh, in the area. It looks like this. The rest of the DLC items you're going to have to find out in the game and get them from enemies. So don't worry about it if you don't have it in your inventory right now. We will find them as we go through the playthrough. For now, we're just going to go over and talk to Brother True. There's a fire burning in your eyes, Acolyte. I haven't seen anything like it in a long time. The city is dying. The court is our last safe haven. Join my brethren and take back control. It's now or never. I can see your confusion. You must have been locked away for a long time. You'll be in for a rude awakening. The world has changed in a heartbeat. I'd explain more, but it's best to witness the new order with your own eyes. I belong to the Children of the Spark, a small but growing church dedicated to a great cause. We're always on the lookout for recruits like yourself. Someone willing to get their hands dirty for the greater good. Journey forth and find the court, where our prophet, Brother Eli, will welcome you with open arms. See that giant octopus? Right under its tentacles, you'll find safe shelter. That giant octopus back there in the background is what he's talking about. This isn't about me, Acolyte. It's about the will of the spark. See the giant octopus? Go there and find Brother Eli. He will guide you to your destiny. You must have been in there for a very long time indeed. You'll see the awful truth soon enough. Anarchy reigns supreme on our streets. People fear the new dawn that's upon us. The government built a wall around us to hold back the inevitable. They reject the change that comes with the Nanite Swarm. This plague is not what it seems. Humanity is ascending. We are the progenitors of a new race. You're staring at Jericho City, Acolyte. At least what's left of it. Brother Eli will reveal your destiny. Now you can see he's carrying an awesome spear. It is possible to kill him and get that spear at early on in the game. However, we're going to leave him alive, despite the fact that the spear is awesome, because you can get it by doing a quest later anyway. And if you kill him now, you're going to miss out on some good dialogue, as well as the opportunity to have two enemies which drop DLC weapons later on. So we'll leave him alive. If you look up into the sky there by holding X, you can see the uh, nanite swarm cloud up, up top, looking all ominous. You can stand here all day looking at it, uh, but you never advance, so just let go of X and move on. Well, so you can, can you can hear the stranger down there. Um, do not attack him. You want to talk to him, but before you go and talk to him, hop up the stairs here, grab that loot. Didn't strike first, huh? Wise choice. Although these days I wouldn't blame you. There aren't a lot of good people around Jericho these days. Can't help but wonder whose side you're on. Now you can choose, does my answer make any difference? But eventually you're going to have to uh, say I'm one of the good guys anyway, so might as well You'll be that. one of the dead guys soon if you don't upgrade your pitiful equipment. Trust me, I know my stuff. Where have you been all your life? Survival of the fittest out here. If you get in a fight, the winner takes all. 
See that med bay right next to me? This is where you take your spoils to craft and upgrade equipment. Maybe you should give it a try. Here, take these parts and give it a go. Beats me. I should have been smart enough to leave when there was still time, but I got inconvenienced. Helping people is kind of what I do. Besides, I still have some unfinished business here. Let's leave it at that. I might tell you one of these days, if you live long enough. Just like you then. Let's be glad we got out in time and keep it at that. I've been to a lot of hell holes lately, but this one wins hands down. Kind of him to give us some tech scrap. Now you want to kind of get in the habit. I should have all of the chests, but you want to kind of get in the habit of breaking crates and boxes and whatnot. Um, these ones out here don't have any loot, but this one back here does. So you want to break that, grab that loot. Then we will go use the med bay, and I'm just going to bank my tech scrap for now, because I want to save it to upgrade a weapon that we're going to get here shortly. And you can see the map here if you want. Um, a little bit helpful, I guess pretty much have to go through the game figuring out where you're going anyway. So it's a lot of windy back alleys, so the maps are all that useful. Now for this guy, uh, again, he'll drop, you see he's got armored body parts, right, and non-armored body parts. To get his armor set, you want to break the armored body parts and sever them so that you, you know, you do the execution so that uh, you get that body part, and then you can craft the armor set. So since this guy is vulnerable, he's face, uh, you know, looking at something, we're going to go for the back step to make it easier because the body body part is the most difficult to break and he has a lot more health um, if you're targeting this section. So we'll go for the back step and uh, he's going to enrage when we do a lot of damage. To break this body part, we're going to want to do R1, R2, R2 combo, um, which should do enough damage to break the body. So that's how you handle getting the body for the scavenger's body gear. Um, scavenger's set is not all that great. I'm gonna get it for you anyway. Don't bother to craft it, in my opinion. Welcome to Jericho City. Exploring or sprawling downtown can be a bit intimidating at first. There's always something fun going on wherever you go. You'll find street musicians, artists, newcomers, tourists, families, couples, wallflowers, poor and the rich. In Jericho, we live together in harmony and respect each other's boundaries. So take a deep breath and enjoy the sights. And if you can't find your way, why not ask one of our friendly locals? Alright, so from that other guy we got the, uh, the arm. So we now have two pieces of the set. This enemy is a revenge enemy. And we also have his friend kind of over to the left. Um, so we want to be careful not to get both of them at the same time. Um, and revenge enemies will give you extra parts for defeating them. Basically, the equivalent uh, crafting materials of the gear that the person who they killed was equipped with. Um, you'll get that equipment from them. Um, so we're going to want to get this guy separately. That'll let us get this guy alone. He doesn't have a headpiece. He's only got body, right arm, and left leg. Um, and left leg is probably going to be the easiest. Revenge enemies are challenging, so you want to be sure um, that you treat them seriously because they can take you out. And the easiest way to get a enemy that is difficult is just to kind of do charge attacks, back off. Um, that should stun them. Or stagger them for just a minute so you can back off and not get hit unless they do a fast attack so that's what you're trying to avoid is the fast attack this is the safest way to deal with these guys and then you can go for the sever and you'll get a bunch of crafting materials we also got the scavenger's leg gear from that other guy it wasn't actually off the guy here even though I killed him so Johnny Sins has now been avenged. We got one more of these guys here, and we want to get him 
to open up a shortcut back to the med bay. We'll go for his uh, his leg too. Now, if you're feeling a little bit more confident, you can go for the directional um, blocks. You see, I missed mine there. Timing for these guys is a little bit crazy, but you want to make sure if you're doing that that you are full health, because otherwise they can take you out. See? No joke, these guys. So again, dealing with these ones with the armored body parts, one of the easiest ways to go about it is just to charge attacks, go for the severs, um, and you're good. This will open up a shortcut back to the med bay, which we'll be able to use a little bit later. But contrary to my Twitch video series, I'm going to take you down a slightly different pathway. So for this one, um, I'm actually going to focus on taking out the arm. And hopefully not die in the process. <laughs> there we go. What's going on? Why do you not give me the sever? There we go. And we've got the weapon. Bootleg fire starter. Um, drops from those guys and single rig weapon with fire damage decent enough but fire damage can cause you to fail on um, severs having elemental damage can help you or cause you to miss the execute so you want to not use that one yet and man I'm just uh, not playing all that well today so for this guy, it's easiest if you can go for the uh, directional blocks. But you want to be careful if you're doing that because he can um, take you out in one rotation. So he, you can see the two next to him, that's kind of like his level. It's just his gear level, but you want to make sure you understand his uh, rotation. And if you're, see, right there, if he does that, you can he can take you out. Um, so just be careful of the rotation. If he gets a hit in, try and back out. Don't trade punches with this guy. But you do want to sever the right arm. That'll give you the bootleg uh, split cleaver as well as the vulture arm here. Now, vulture arm set is a pretty good farming set. So you want to go ahead and um, make sure you get this set. It's worthwhile to craft if you want to farm tech scrap. It's just a good farming set all in all. We're not going to build that yet because we're going to need the tech scrap in the materials for a different set that we'll get not too far from here. So I'll come around this way, grab that loot in the box there, um, and grab the Omni Cell Clip at the top of the steps. Then you want to come down here, kill this guy. And then we'll jump up top, back up here. You cannot open that until you get the Starfish Drone Module. Instead, we're going to come to this doorway here and open it up. And we'll open up a shortcut right behind us a little bit later. But for now, this will get us a good implant. Didn't need to go for the sever there. Um, but either way, we wanted to get this Physical Aggression Redirector. Great implant. We're going to swap out automatic and check charger. You can do that on your own uh, whenever your battery is charged, just hold B. And instead, we'll slot this. And this makes it easier to sever body parts because all of the damage goes to the body part you're, direct, you're targeting, whereas directional swings oftentimes will hit different body parts, which will flash when you're hitting them. So this one is very helpful to make sure your attacks are hitting the body part that you want which makes it easier to sever boss arms and, and do the executes that you want to get the gear that you want. So I always leave this slotted, even though it drops my damage output by 25%. Better to hit what you're aiming at. Now for this one, I'm going to go for the head because I haven't gotten the head piece yet. Hey, why are you running down the steps? Come back here. And that will give us 
the improved transistor implant and the headpiece for the scavenger set. So the scavenger set is now complete. You might have gotten different armored body parts, just go for the armored body parts that are available. But eventually you'll get them all. Um, for this guy, I think I'm going to go for the leg, get some more leg materials. And this gives you crafting materials, even though you already have the uh, body part, or the schematic for that uh, armor piece. This gives you... Um, This gives you uh, extra crafting materials so you can upgrade your gear. And do be careful with these guys, they can kill you. Since we haven't upgraded any armor yet and we're not using any armor pieces, we take a ton of damage. So just be a little bit careful. Can't open up this door yet, we'll be able to open that up later. It's a little mini quest. So you're going to come up here and do this. Now, for this guy, you're going to want to take out his right arm so that you get his weapon. Try and creep up for the backstab if you can. He'll probably turn to face you before you get there. But if you're lucky enough to get it off, uh, it makes the fight a little bit easier. There we go. That gives you the clinch Velosaw. Oh, and I didn't show you the bootleg split cuber either. Uh, higher damage than what I have now, and it hits really fast. A little bit difficult to control um, and it's high stamina consumption, but it is a good weapon. Uh, double duty weapons are kind of versatile. Uh, Clinch Velosaw, kind of lower DPS, um, and I'll sort by the damage so you can see better. It's down here, it's a one handed weapon, um, you know, kind of equivalent to this stuff. Wouldn't really bother upgrading any of this any further than we have. Because we're going to get a much better weapon here just a little bit. Now for this guy, I think I'm going to go for his right arm. That'll give me tungsten alloy to upgrade my weapons as well as... Oh! <laughs> arm so that I can upgrade my arm equipment once I craft the armor pieces. Uh, but he fell off the ledge. Oh well. There you go. You can jump out here, get the battery adrenalizer. Very useful uh, once you've got lots of um, spots to drop in implants. Gives you better stamina regen. Um, I do find myself using that one. But not yet. Get the audio log. Hey, that looks like a great short game. Yo, I do it look at the gun dragging away from wherever. Come on, I don't see anyone who's been dragged away. It's safe for me. Let's go. Make sure you grab your loot when you come down here. And we'll talk to our friend over here. Goddamn AID goon said I caught the virus. <coughs> Bullshit. <coughs> but they'll see. I'm far too sneaky to get caught. Bit of advice. Take a light up. Upgrade your shiny stuff and it'll lead a longer, more productive life. I even know a secret path. Right through that gap between the buildings. I mean, you could also sneak through one of them scanner gates on the road to Babylon Gardens, but why risk it? Too psyched for that. I ought to know. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. Now you can see a nanite swarm off in the distance. That'll be another vision. But for first, we're going to open up this shortcut which lets us get back to that area we were just in before. So that's where we crossed the bridge and fought the uh, level two uh, equipment wearing guy, bootleg split cleaver. And we'll come up here and get a very important drone module. This is a w W-102 banner. If you plant that um, and nobody finds your banner within 60 minutes, you get 5,000 tech scraps. Uh, and so that's very useful throughout the game to just keep planting it. My favorite spot early on in the game, and some people pick up on this, some people don't. Those of you who are watching my episodes will know about it. It's right back here in this little cub cubby hole. Um, good spot to, to plant it so people don't find it. And hopefully we'll get 10, 000, or 5,000 tech scrap in about an hour. Now do not go into the med bay. That's where we came down from the detention center 
back, looped around to the med bay. Great level design. Instead, we're going to come back up here to get another implant, which you can find if you use your uh, loot scanner. So it is right down there. And you're just going to drop down here and grab that. This one will uh, increase your poison resistance. And then we can come back out this way. And rather than heading over to the Nanite Swarm still, um, you do have two enemies there that are a little bit challenging to beat. Instead, we're going to come down and kill this guy. And we want to target his right arm. And this guy is, is no joke. You want to, if he hits you, he will stagger you. So you want to make sure if he's swinging, don't even risk the, uh, the directional block. Just jump out, jump back, and make sure you go for the sever. So that'll give us the salvage crusher. Hits harder than uh, the other weapons that we have by about 10 points. Uh, slow though, good impact, but there is a better weapon that we're going to get. This drone module is also important, so you want to equip it right away. Um, and we're going to leave a tag here. And the tag that we're going to leave is... Uh, oops. You don't need to change the color. Um, a little bit difficult to see. There we go. Um, is the symbol of the resistance. And you can start progressing this quest now, even though we don't have the quest yet. So you want to leave one tag each. And this is the symbol here. This uh, leaves... You want to leave at least one of these, you can do three or two if you want, um, in each of six areas of the game. So one here in downtown Jericho, Underground, Port Nixon, Cathedral of the Spark, uh, Jericho's Rock, and um, AID Command. So we can start progressing this now as we're walking through. You just need to find a spot where you can put it on the wall. And we've now got one of six areas marked. And you'll get tech scrap for doing that quest um, and a very good weapon. Norman, Norman, Norman. Why won't you cooperate? Am I not? Am I really supposed to believe any of that BS? Believe what you want, prick. Oh, but I do, Lord. I really do. So, rig capacitor uh, prevents the decay of one battery. Kind of handy. Improved transistors. I didn't show you that one earlier, but uh, reduces the rate of energy drain. Um, so, decent enough, but I'm not going to use it for now. Right now, I believe that you'll be in terrible pain once I press this button under my desk. You bastard. I'll get you back for this. <laughs> Threatening an officer of the law. Keeping a lot of secrets since that Creo incident. Yeah, whatever. You got nothing on me and you know it. AID has messed with the wrong guy this time. All right. So you're going to want to make sure that you get these separately and target this guy's right arm. Go for the backstab. And go for the sever. That will give you a new drone module and make it easier to deal with the other guy. So that drone module, let me show it to you really quickly, is the Klokunov uh, R47 auto rifle. I don't use it a whole lot. Um, I prefer the last pistol if I'm trying to hit something at range. But you want to get all of the drone modules anyway so that you are you get the achievement. So we've now got it available if we want it. Um, for this one, we want to go for the body so that we get another drone module, which is the Molotov cocktail. And try and, uh, you know, try and go for... Ooh, that's not good. Off to a bad start. Try and go for a backstab if you can get it. Um, he will toss Molotov cocktails at you, so just kind of dodge out of the way. Make sure you stay out of the fire. Try and keep your health up going for the body part and we'll this will be the vulture set as well as the multi cocktail there we go now we'll 
we'll be able to do more interesting combat here in a little bit. Uh, but for now, just play it safe, yeah? That gives us the vulture body gear, so we now have arms and body. We've got the full scavenger, so we just need legs and a head. In Jericho City, everyone is equal before the law. A tiny surveillance chip implanted in your auditory nerve records every conversation you'll ever have. That way, we can always protect you from unfair allegations or defamation of character. To review personal recordings, please fill out the appropriate form and expect a waiting period of up to two years. If you find a misplaced audio log on the street, we urge you not to listen. Violations will be punished with a steep fine and or brief imprisonment. We already know you listen to this recording. So expect to receive a sternly worded letter from our lawyers soon. Have a nice day. <laughs> so step into the swarm, get the vision. You can run with it, girl. And you can you see Athena's a badass. That's it, kid. It's over. You're coming with us. Wait, what is she doing? See, Athena didn't mess around. You got the corpses over here with the blood streaks, and you get a new weapon. Now, metamorphing talents is a really good weapon, no doubt about it. If you're just trying to take out enemies and you're struggling with the content, not a bad way to go. Stacks nano damage really quickly, which causes a nano AOE nano explosion. And even though the base damage is lower than what we're using, that high nano damage on a very fast weapon makes it actually a decent weapon. Uh, but I'm going to stick with the Salvage Gouger because we are almost, almost to the weapon that I've been hinting at. We are not going over to the Seaside Court. Instead, we're going to go over here. Now you can kill these guys for more of that AID Nightfall uh, set, the set here, that we can also buy from the vendor. We're not going to do that yet because those guys are no joke. But we can creep around here and get an implant, which is the Manslayer implant. Increases human damage at the expense of other types. I don't ever use those implants. Um, you do see the doctor who whistled there up here in this little hidey hole. So we're going to go talk to him. Welcome to Best Clinic this side of Seaside Court, Tavarishi. Feeling a bit sickly? I've been able to keep them at bay, but I'm not quite, how do you say, enough ripped to beat them without my little turret over here. Normally, I give you real thorough checkup for free, but we run out of medical equipment. How pathetic, huh? I am world-renowned surgeon, yet my hands are tied. Damn apparatchiks confiscate nanomachines all over Jericho to cover up truth about nano-disease. Beat like. Without alternate supply routes, I'd be screwed. Just a moment ago, they shot down secret delivery drone right outside even if soldiers don't find it in time, those damn scavengers will. You'll have to be sneaky. But if you pull off a little heist, I let you use med station on wall for free. Of course I'm real. Just trust evidence of your eyes. They call me Dr. Vladimir. Don't believe government agate prop. I am hard-working, genuine medical person. Of course, Tovarish. Your health is my business, eh? Say, ah, uh, huh. Your nanite readings are strange, very disturbing. Uh, but nothing to worry about, probably. Your physical condition is not, uh, how do you say, too shabby. But you need to be wussify if you want to pass through scanner. Maybe you should buy some upgrades at Seaside Court. You've been there, da? Magnificent building with the squid thingy on top. Hmm. 
Just little errand. Find and salvage delivery drone that crashed over Red Square downstream. And don't attract unwanted attention, huh? Those scavengers are like hawks. All right, so we've got we've got to find the loot from the shot down drone. Unfortunately, it's not something that we can access yet. So instead, we're going to come over here, and we've just got a few guys to kill before we get that weapon. All right, so this guy again, be really careful. Try and get the. Uh, Try and get the directional blocks on these if you can. Um, if you don't, then make sure you back out and you do not run into the scanner gate there. So you come around the corner here. And just keep a big range when he's about to hit if you're low on health. If you're anything below 100% health, do not even bother with it. You see that attack there can absolutely one shot you. So the safest thing again is just back out at this point and um, do a charge attack. That'll give you the ass to your plasma auger. That's still not the weapon we're after though. It's getting close, but it's still not there. Three more guys to go. Now for this guy, you're going to want to try and get his leg, I guess, because we already got his uh, drone module. You can do head if you want to. Um, R1, 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 R2, R2 combo is possible against this guy. And that gives us the vulture leg gear. Now, before we go up and do what we're really after, we'll get this audio log here. Tired of sitting around. And the chest back here. Waiting. Do you want to return truth, justice, and the American way to the streets of Jericho City? Then what are you waiting for? Together, we can take back our city once and for all. With our combined forces, we will defeat the Nanite Scourge and reclaim what's ours. Join the hunters today and help us defeat the Nanite Beast at Gideon's Rock. Now you can sever the right arm, this is one of the DLC weapons, uh, just by doing the R1 here, if she doesn't fall. Um, and that'll give you the Kate 2.0. She also has a, an implant if you sever her head. Kate 2.0 is a pretty decent weapon, um, staff moveset is not bad, uh, and this does electricity damage. So if you want to use this one, go for it. It is a good weapon. I prefer the one we're going to get now. This one here. And for this guy, because he's got a companion next to him, what I do is just target the right arm uh, and use the drone to sever it. That way you don't mess with that guy at the same time. Because these guys can, as I showed you before, totally take you out. Pick up the loot while you can. Try and get the uh, directional blocks if you can. And just take him out. Now you've got the code name Zarathustra. Awesome weapon to use for a good portion of the game. In fact, I'm not going to unequip this for a long time yet. So it has, as you can see already, 101 damage if you combine the DPS and the um, electricity damage, which is <laughs> as damaging as the highest damaging weapon in my inventory right now. That is one tier higher, right? So we're going to upgrade this right away, and we're going to continue uh, using that as we play through the rest of this episode and the next couple. So you want to come down here, um, grab the loot that is in this container here. So in fact, I will... So that increases your nano resistance, and I will tag this. And then we can... 
come back out here and open up a shortcut to the med bay. And I am going to stop at the med bay and spend my tech scrap and upgrade this uh, guy a little bit. So you can see if you want to, you can um, craft the armor pieces. We're not going to craft those yet. So we're going to upgrade that. We need one more MK2 uh, tungsten in order to upgrade that to MK2. And this time, oops, I'm going to also spend some tech scrap to uh, now upgrade my battery some more so we get some more core power. Might as well spend it now. And it's all going into the battery module. And we actually need to get our core power up to about 36 for equipping this entire set that we want. Um, but for now, that will be good. Gives us a little bit better heals. So when you're coming down here, um, keep an eye out for the enemy to the left that I just killed there. Uh, he will sneak up behind you while you're dealing with these other enemies. And we're going in to get the armor set that we want at this point. And I think for the sake of being able to upgrade, you can see I stunned her with the electricity and she wasn't able to attack me at all with these. So the electricity effect will stun your enemies um, once you stack it high enough and these are fast hitting so they usually stack before uh, the enemy has a chance to hit you. Even though he's a revenge enemy, I'm totally destroying him. Now we got these two guys here. For this one, um, if you get him kind of separated like that, then it's okay to go for it. You can just target his right arm, take him out with the drone if you want. But since the other guy sort of walked slowly, we might, have, uh, might as well take him out without wasting the omni cells. You can see how effective these are, right? So we can start playing a little bit more aggressively now. So that's taken out those two. Um, we do have one more enemy up here that we'll take out. No problem. Got a little bit of loot over here, so we're going to want to jump out there. Grab this loot. up folks. Uh, I missed the battery. Um, and then this will give us the key card which gives us access to the front entrance of the JCPD uh, detention center. So we'll open that door. We won't go inside quite yet. One more piece of loot that we want to get down below. Two more pieces actually. So you can run over here, drop off the edge. And then to get that chest, you can just kind of creep around the corner here and fall off, and you'll get that chest. Much easier than making the jump. But getting back can get tricky, and I die here about half of the time. So if you die, don't worry about it. You can just come back and get your tech scrap. But you want to try and time your jump from here uh, and get it right at the edge. Didn't quite make it. Ah, well. I think you can jump down to that platform below, too, but I don't know how to get, get up from there. But no worries. We've got the shortcut back from the med bay. And we can go back and get our tech scrap. So all of those enemies will be back up. You can kind of ignore them as you run through. Just hang a left there, drop down here. Um, your tech scrap will be conveniently located above, so no problem. And we can pick up this here. Now that jump, it seems like it used to be easier. I never used to miss it, but it, I think they uh, increased the distance or something because I keep failing recently. 
and you'll run back into JCPD. So this is where we started the game. And you'll remember this from the uh, boss fight against Garcia. And you can come down here to the med bay. The reason why we're coming back in here, and you're probably thinking, why are you coming back in here, Theodon? Well, with the DLC, one of the free DLCs, you've got a new suit of armor that you can get early on in the game here. And we're going to start saving our tech scrap so we can build and upgrade that armor. If you get the backstab on him, sometimes he will um, drop MK3 upgrade materials. But really what we're after is down here. So you can practice directionally blocking against these guys if you want. It takes a little bit more time. I tend to just take them out fast. No point in going for severs against these guys. Just charge your battery. Take that guy out with your drone. And you can see this guy came out of what was empty previously. So he should have switched over to his melee weapon. There we go. And you can see, I, even though I directionally blocked, I didn't stagger him. You need to stagger these guys twice at this point to get the attack. So do the directional blocks. That will stun him, and along with the electricity effect, which gives you um, open access to sever the arm. That'll give the JCPD team Zola arm gear as well as, which is a really good set, which uh, has good defenses and increases your stamina regeneration, and the AID Type 4 Authority, which is a good weapon. But as you'll see in a moment, uh, this, once it's upgraded to that tier, actually does more damage. So we're going to stick with the Zarathustra, plus I love the electricity effect. Now for this guy, might as well go for the body piece, since we've got him alone. Bait the attacks, uh, go for this follow-up, uh, not sure why that missed. Go for the follow-up and do enough damage to get the execute. And there's the body piece. And you also get the AAD Empire Sniper Rifle, which is another um, drone module high damage single shot. So we have two pieces of the armor set. We'll go back over to the med bay here. Um, we'll craft those. And might as well equip the chest. Looks like we can equip some of the arms too. No, not both arms yet. Now, if you don't want to mess with trying to get the severin or the uh, backstab on this guy, if you're trying to do this quickly, you can. Just run, rush up to him and attack. No point in severing these guys. Just take him out, get your battery charged guy out whoop take that guy out from range so if you go over and attack that guy the two guys both of them from inside that guard post will aggro so you want to take him out from range uh, this time I think I'll go for his head so we just let him see us he'll swap over to melee so he won't shoot us direction block and off with his head That also gives us the deflection damage enhancer. So if you deflect, if you slot that, you can deflect an enemy attack and um, either get increased damage for a short time. I'm not going to use that one. 
can see having him shoot at you is kind of a pain. Go for this guy's leg. And we have the full armor set. So from this point on, I'm just going to keep farming these guys to get uh, the crafting materials that I need to craft this set and the tech scrap I need to craft this set and upgrade it all the way to MK3. And uh, I'll also farm it long enough to um, be able to equip all of the gear except for about five points. We didn't get one of the implants we need yet. Uh, which is the ancillary core, which will give us five free uh, power consumption. Um, so we're going to get up to about 36 core power farming these guys, and so I'll just do that and speed up the video um, so that you don't have to sit through the entire thing, but I'm just going to farm up those mats and get everything to um, MK3. And we can get all of the components for that right from these guys except for the metavoltaic injector which uh, will be able to get up to mk2 off of these guys so just farm the materials you need off of them um, each body part that you sever that is armored will drop the crafting materials that you need to upgrade this set so we're just going to focus on that and i'll see you back in a bit once i've upgraded all the way
go. We got core power up to 36. Got uh, plenty of uh, extra tech scrap because I had to AFK there for a while, so I got one of my banners in. And we are ready to proceed on with the rest of this episode. Have a nice day, officer. So we've just got two, three, ar two areas left to clear, uh, plus a extra shortcut to open up, and then we will proceed on to Seaside Court. Looks like uh, the light creator didn't do so well against the boss there. Should have watched my walkthrough. Alright, so we'll head out here. Um, when you do exit out here, even though you're kind of geared up at this point, I mean, it's up to you if you want to farm that much or if you just want to come out here with that set and then earn the tech scrap as you play through. Totally your call. Uh, makes it a little bit easier if you've got a good set with you, though. But be careful when you come out here either way because you got three guys that can attack you. We do want to get the ancillary core, so it makes sense to try and kind of go for their heads. See if you can get the ancillary core. Um, I believe it's the blowtorch guys that drop it, but we'll see. There we go, ancillary core. So it was it was that first one that I killed, I think. <clears throat> now, with the ancillary core, that gives you five extra core power. Um, so I'm going to equip... I usually equip that at the end, so I'll equip another um, implant that costs five, so that when I do get the implant that I want, I can just swap it in there. So I, I tend to keep this one at the end of my open available slots, just so I know that that's the one that I need to swap out. Um, eventually I won't use that one anymore, so I want to be able to keep an eye on it. So we'll use that uh, implant for now, and then we're going to come over here. Um, now these guys drop the AID Nightfall set, so I'm going to try and get either a body or a leg off of these guys, unless one of them has a headpiece. Neither of them do, so body and leg on both. And we're going to want to try, even though we're kind of powerful now, we're the same rank as they are, uh, we want to still try and separate them, because if you get both of them attacking you at once, they definitely can tear you apart. So try and keep an eye on them. Uh, one of them should turn around and walk back eventually. And at that point, you go out and get the other one, just like that. For that shield, you're going to need to um, do a charged attack. And that will give us the body. So now we have arm and body for this set. And we will get the leg from this guy. Should have gotten rid of the shield. I stunned him with the electricity damage. I'm gonna back off a little bit to get my salmon up. There we go. Got the AD Nightfall leg gear. So we just need the helmet yet, and we'll get that in a little bit. Um, there's a shortcut down here that we want to get. But first, we're gonna head into Port Nixon and get the loot in this area. First thing you're going to want to do whenever you step into a new area, immediately get your spray can out and go ahead and mark with the symbol of the resistance. You can put it anywhere you want, but now we have two areas tagged out of six. Port Nixon and downtown Jericho. The old JCPD building is our last refuge. 
Adrenaline Harvester or Adrenal Harvester uh, grants extra stamina every time you kill an enemy. Good for farming, not so good for boss fights. When the lights go out, we will stand strong and fight back. A safe haven for everyone who deserves it. We will start again and leave the past behind. Come now, fellow outcasts. Together, we shall prevail. And that's all we needed to do in here really. We're just going to exit back into this area. We'll open up the shortcut and then continue on. So once you load in here, you'll note uh, where that piece of loot was. Well, you'll note that these two guys are no longer there. They do not respawn. The ones by the uh, guard post or the scanner gate do. So we're going to come out here and just open up that shortcut. And you'll remember this is the rooftop area where we were at previously, so um, nothing really to do here now. Done everything we can, so we'll just head down here. Um, the guy who was the first really challenging enemy that we fought um, with the bootleg split cleaver, uh, he is no longer spawning so you don't even need to worry about it you can see the octopus over there that's kind of where we're headed I'm gonna head in here and at this point you're probably strong enough to just take these guys uh, head on but I will at least separate And we do have the full vulture set, so I don't really need to worry about... Oh, actually, we're missing the head. Okay, we're missing the head piece. I'll uh, get the head off of him. So I'm going to go ahead and take her out. And then we'll get the head from him. So much for splitting him up. Here we go with the headgear. So there's the Vulture Schematic headgear. Um, before we actually proceed on down into Seaside Port, I am going to come back over here and see if we can get lucky and get the two implants from the DLC uh, weapon carrying enemies. his directional block. That is ridiculous. Now you're going to want to go for Kate uh, 2.0's head. And if you do enough damage to break the armor, then it should give you the headpiece, uh, the implant. We'll see if this one did it. Yep, drop tech scrap regenerator. So those piles of scrap that you drop when you die give you a health over time buff. Um, so this just makes it a little bit stronger. I've never actually used that implant. I don't need my tech scrap on the ground normally, so um, less useful for me, but hey, to each his own. I'm gonna actually see if we can drag this guy back over to the wall. If we wait a little while, I should be able to get him alone. Go ahead and do R1, R2, R2. Whoops. And I did too much damage. Let's try that one more time. We can go over to the med bay. So I am doing too much damage for R1, R2, R2. So I'll try and do a directional block like I did with the other one. Again, 
if you need to farm these guys a few times, you know, don't worry about it too much. They respawn easily. They each drop a different implant. So this one will drop the uh, Omni Cell Converter, is what I believe it's called. Yeah, cross combo takes her out. Oh, and I forgot about the loop back here. So you want to remember to get that. Let's try this again. I'm just kind of dragging back here. Um, if this doesn't work, I'm just going to try with my drill and see if that'll do it. Come on. cell battery converter so that one um, will let you use batteries to grant omni cell ammunition so when you get this ranked up high enough it's actually pretty good you can use it to keep um, leveling up from the other guy's head we got the sustaining array which increases the um, duration that battery persists so it gives you longer battery cooldown kind of helpful but i tend not to use that out there, including the one we're going to head over and get now. Um, trying to think which way is going to be faster. I think we'll go out this way, actually. So we'll kill these two guys and then proceed on our merry way. like uh, the I think this guy is a stormtrooper in disguise. Alright, now that we've got those implants, we will head down this way. Um, just to be safe, you can creep by these guys and fight down here if you want to, but you're better off kind of taking them out. Um, the reason being, you might need some space to fight that guy, so go ahead and take this one out. Not too difficult if you go for the head. shooting at me still. <laughs> Never seen that bug before. Um, and then you're going to come down here, there's this guy here, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, go for whatever body part you want. I think we've got the full sets now. Break the shield with a charge attack. this one too, uh, might as well go for the head just to make sure you don't have any implants you're missing. So it's always periodically good to switch up your target as long as you're going for armored body parts. <clears throat> got another K2.0 weapon uh, wielding enemy here, so if you miss the implant, you can also, or the K2.0 staff, you can get it from her here. She's actually a little bit easier to kill than the other one and, and get a 
last ever run. Remember, there is loot here. A lot of times people don't mark it, so I'll go ahead and mark it. And you also have an audio log down here. Sorry for the guy. Alright, I'm gonna plant my banner here. It's not the best hiding spot, but a lot of people end up not coming down there. Um, but I am gonna do people a favor and mark that there is an audio log down there. So I don't have the audio log marked yet, but there we go. Now, before you go down that pathway, you wanna finish this hallway first. Don't take the bait, because um, you got another guy right here who is running out to his death. <clears throat> that lets you get this guy solo. Now, we already have his weapon, so do whatever uh, limb you want. Cellular Regenerator um, gives you health back, 50% of your health back uh, using one battery over, I think, 20 seconds, so it's an okay implant, but I tend not to use it. Now we're going to come over and get this guy. Just take him out, he doesn't drop anything special. For this one, you're going to want to sever the right arm. So get your drone out, target the right arm, and fire away. And for this one as well, you want to sever the right arm. It can be a little bit trickier, though. Um, but when you get both of those, you get the NDAS RS3. And the MG Negotiator. So, two reasonably good weapons. Um, if you sort by uh, damage, you can see the negotiator is right at the bottom of the pile, but it does do electricity damage, so it's another electricity staff. I believe if you upgrade Kate 2.0, it's better stats overall than the MG negotiator. Uh, but both of those are not as good as the Peacekeeper, which we get later. Um, and the NDAS is heavy duty, but not as much damage as the Salvage Crusher. Uh, better energy gain, but probably be better off with the Salvage Crusher, but both of those also drop off pretty quickly. So we're just going to stick with the code name Zarathustra. That is the creme de la creme right now. We're going to come up here, get our loot, tell people not to fall to their deaths down here. Warning, do not go there. And we also
also have one guy up top there. You can barely see him. If we were to run down that hallway there, um, he would jump down and attack us. So instead, we're going to shoot him in the head. He is damn the ambushy types, right? Nothing special. We'll get the battery uh, charged up there. So we're full batteries and full health. And then we've got one more guy to take out in this area. shield, he is stunned, and he is dead. And I think I'm not going to get the loot. No. Oh, I got lucky. I got at least the Omni cells. I think his arm that I just severed went down into the river. Oh well. When you get in here, um, you've got quite a few people to talk to, so we'll run around and talk to all of them. Um, no combat. Hunting creepy crawlies for money. Is this what my life's come to? You know, I used to be an accountant, head of finance at Clio HQ. But after the event, the world went to hell in a handbasket. So much for our enlightened society. It's kill or be killed now. I know my choice. What's yours? met that shady Russian doctor downtown? He's a total crook. But he knows how to get past those scanner gates AID set up all over Jericho. Apparently, he has the right connections, whatever that means. You're out of luck, kiddo. I don't need any more recruits for the monster hunt. Now get out of my face before I lose my temper. There's a lot of planning to do. We're going to hold off on using our tech scrap for now and just talk to people. Um, there's some stuff we need to buy. Never seen you at the court before. How do you like Jericho City's new state-of-the-art mall? The real stores closed down a long time ago, but you can still do some business if you're willing to pay an arm and a leg. I... I... I, I, I didn't mean that literally, okay? You never know if you're talking to one of those crazy limb-cutting SOBs nowadays. <laughs> My husband's caught the defrag. He's just a shadow of his former self now. Nanites growing all over his body, hollowing him out bit by bit. But we're not giving up. That's why I'm here. I've got to find some supplies somewhere, somehow. And you can come over here, um, have a jam session if you want. And talk to Molly. Molly is very important. Looking for something to buy? I'd love to make you an offer, but my hands are tied. After that nasty defrag disease broke out, I helped as much as I could. So whatever the children of the Spark smuggled into the city for a fraction of the price. After a while, I was drowning in debt. So I borrowed a bit of money from a nice young gentleman. I should have known better. He turned out to be nothing but a loan shark, and I was easy prey. But I'm no dotty old lady, you see? I know what's going on. His threats get more brazen every day. Soon he'll come after my grandkids. Are you sure? I don't have anything to give you for your trouble, not even a penny. If you really think you can do it, look for a guy called Finn and tell him Miss Fox sent you. He's doing most of his business in Port Nixon these days. I owe him... 2,000 tech scrap. If you can make that villain cancel my debt, I could buy new wares and stock my shelves again. I should warn you, though. Finn is a shrewd businessman. He'll try to con you out of everything you own. Time was that little cheat would have already been thrown in jail. But nowadays, it's all about image. Below the surface, 
He's a con man through and through. Finn knows how to play the victim card. He'll take you to the cleaners if you give him any kind of edge. Thanks for asking, young'un. I've learned a lot of things during my long life, so I'll just say this. You only start caring about money once you don't have any. I just don't know what I'll do if Finn comes after me or my grandkids. Find Finn in Fort Nixon and teach him not to mess with an old woman. Search and rescue, eh? Could have used your type around these parts when this whole mess kicked off. Glad to see there are still people of integrity around. Here, take this. You deserve it. So again, depending on your background, you'll get a different implant. And this is the one that is shared between the uh, Mining Wars veteran and Search and Rescue, which is the dynamic redirector. Uh, it gives you energy restore for every time you're hit. Incredibly useful implant. So we definitely want to pick that up. Save your other tech scrap. I'm not sure how much you'll have. Um, I've got enough to buy the other stuff that I want generally, except for the Angel 6 body gear. Um, we're also going to need to pick up the AAD Nightfall headgear, but we can farm for that. So really the only other items you would buy are those five. Uh, and we're going to hold off on doing that for now because we have an item that we want to make sure we don't miss before the vendor disappears. So I'll talk to this guy quick. If you want to go to the harbor, ask Brother Eli or get stuck. And we're going to go up to the second floor. Lord Eli. I'm wondering, this can listen to the spiel. Who's he? Was it my brother? Yeah. Of course. But why? Why did that worthless cretin tell me after the trial was out? No reason to hold back. I think you're out to get him. He thinks what? It's not like he's leaving me with a choice, is it? I've always honored our faith. Preached the good word. Welcomed lost sheep into our flock. That's it. Give up. He will never learn the error of his sinful ways. He's brought this on himself by gorging himself on junk food like a glutton, indulging in carnal pleasures, and selling drugs to washed up junkies like. like yourself. Wastrels, fornicators, heathens, the lot of them. You people disgust me. Soon our most glorious day shall dawn. The skies will be rent asunder with a deafening roar. The harbingers will descend and dispense holy, righteous justice. We will cast off our frail skin, flee our prison of the flesh once and for all. Soon, there will be neither man nor machine, just eternal life. Do you really think that fat slob Johnny of all people will be the one to bring forth this new dawn? Trust me, Declan. This discussion Shut up, Declan. We're not done here yet. Oh, I've heard it about enough of your rant, Brother Eli. Welcome to our humble chapel. They call me Brother Eli. I've been taking a lot of lost souls under my wing. My disciple Truman told me of your coming, but enough about me. Tell me about yourself. You really don't know who I am? How unusual. I'm Matriarch Celeste's eldest son, a humble shepherd with small ambitions. Everything I do is to serve the glory of the spark and its mighty Nanite harbingers. As they descend from the heavens, a new dawn rises. Even now, we lead the charge, providing power and food to the surviving few, whether they join our cause or not. The gateway to Fort Nixon is locked for a reason. Nobody gets in or out without my express consent. Glad you asked. Supplying our fellow men with salvaged goods is getting harder by the minute. Everything I've accomplished is at stake. And the biggest threat is right here. Inside my own ranks. I've got a bit of a family issue going on. My brother, little Johnny, has always been in charge of Fort Nixon's streets. After the nano machines appeared, the outsiders came to drive us away. Our time had come. A real chance to prove our gospel's truth. One, but Johnny's warped mind wouldn't give up the substance we used to expand our minds and bodies. The blue sparkle. Now he's nothing but a drug lord. Someone has to bring him to justice. I can 
confront him myself. But they'll need the hell to pay if anybody saw me interfering. So, you have business sense as well. Good. We'll need it in these trying times. Don't worry about your reward. You'll be taken care of. That's a promise. Excellent. My associate downstairs will make you pass through the Harvard window. Report to me once you put things to rest. He's hiding out in an old terminal in Jericho's Harbor District, Port Nixon. The methods you use don't matter to me. All I care about are the results. This sinfulness must come to an end, once and for all. To be honest, we've benefited a lot from his supplies. But now that I know how he's earned his dirty money, I have no choice but to wash my hands of him. We've given him more than enough chances. Port Nixon is one of the oldest districts in Jericho. The whole city grew from that area. Nowadays, it's a hotbed for crime and that's why our church is so important. We are Port Nixon's beacon. It's shining light. We bring hope and optimism. Or at least we did until little Johnny corrupted our holy cause. Who? Him? He's just one of my little brother's pushers. I caught him red-handed with a stash of drugs. I've been trying to make him come clean for hours, but he's being, well, shall we say, rather stubborn. He'll change his mind soon enough. Sinners always do. May the spark guide you. Hey, need some wicked drone implants? Cool by me, either way, but you gotta get on with it. I have so much stuff on my mind, it feels like my brain is gonna explode. Does it look like I'm in trouble? Well, yeah, probably does. Doesn't mean that I trust you, though, okay? You can't be too careful. Yeah, you touch it, you buy it. We clear? So you want to make sure you have everything in his inventory before you tell him what happens to April. So since I've got enough tech scrap on me, I'm going to buy everything, including the implant. We already have Molotov cocktail, um, so we're going to go ahead Actually, I'm going to buy an extra one of those for stash and ammo. Uh, and you want to get the grenade, so that's a new module. And most importantly is this, the Creo Industrial Magnet, which costs 10,000 tax scrap, but you can only get it from him. And you won't see him again for a while after you tell him what happens to April, so if you can buy it now, do so. Otherwise, remember to buy it from him before telling him what happens to April. Drone proximity adapter is not one that I use. Dynamic redirector, which we just picked up from Molly, I am absolutely going to use. Now we'll come over here, get the rose. What the? That's mine. Give it back, like right now. Seriously, not cool. That's a memento from my ex. I mean, what would you say if I just marched into your workplace and stole everything that's not nailed down? This is a token of our love, you know? It's all I have left now. I'm a broken shell of a man. Whatever. See if I care. I mean, didn't want it back anyway. Didn't need it. Oh, it's that age-old story, really. Boy meets girl, girl dumps boy. Everything goes to hell. Said she needed to find herself. Now nobody can find her at all. I heard a little rumor she's hooked up with that rich bastard, little Johnny at Port Nixon. I mean, I'd go there right now to check it out, but I've got too many enemies in that part of town. Maybe you could, I don't know, snoop around a bit? Awesome! I was hoping I could coax you into it. Oh, crap. I said that out loud, didn't I? I just really need some help. I'm freaking losing it here. Yeah, like the old harbor? That's where the shady punk-ass little Johnny sells his so-called drugs. I just can't stand that gassy sleazebag. 
I mean, have you heard those horror stories about the shit he gets up to in Terminal Z? Ugh. Dude's like seriously depraved. April went like totally bitch cakes after she found religion. Spark here, spark there, spark everywhere, except in our relationship. That's your responsibility, man. Um, all right, we're just, gonna ask just keep that your eyes up. open, okay? Especially if you like make it to Terminal Z. So you touch it, you buy it. We clear. All right, so we've got everything. You could stock on more, stock up on more ammo if you want. That's going to give you the quest to rescue April, or find April. We still got to talk to Mr. Scrappy. Do I smell a new audio log? Come on over and show me. Hi, I'm Mr. Scrappy, your all-in-one rumor monger, information resource, and audio file vendor. I'll scan every audio recording you have and reward you accordingly. So, what do you say? Fill me in on the latest gossip and I'll give you something even better in return. I'm not surprised you agreed. After all, I've studied your profile. All you need to do is bring me your audio recordings every once in a while for review. Since I'm in a generous mood, I'll compensate you with a couple of exclusive lost recordings. Here, the first ones on the house. Welcome back, unknown stranger. So, how about sharing some information? One second, I'll check my database. Have you heard about the Great Wall of Jericho? The governor had it erected to keep defrag at bay. At least, that's the official statement. Most of my clients believe they've isolated this place to sweep us under the rug. Literally and figuratively. Whatever that means, check back in soon. I'll keep you in the loop. You have collected more than 10 audio files. You have reached reward tier one great work enjoy listening it's on the house nothing in this world is free by accepting my help you've already agreed to my terms of service i'll give you all the information i have and sell everything i know about you to the highest bidder it's a fair deal agreed i will only say this once the password is Keymaker. You'll know when to use it. So you got some extra audio logs you can listen to if you want to. I'm not going to listen to them now. Worship Lord Eli. Uh, and you want to go back down to Mali now that you got an extra 5,000 tech scrap, or if you didn't buy the 10,000 tech scrap drone module off of Rex, go get it now. I'm so scared. I just don't know what he'll do. Of course, it's what I'm here for. So for Molly, I mean, I could afford this right now, but I'm not going to. I'll pick up the other stuff um, first because you can pick up the Angel Six Body Gear anytime that you want. So next time we come back through, that'll still be there waiting for us. Don't get the AID Nightfall Headgear. We're hopefully going to pick that up next. So I'm going to drop my extra tech scrap in here. We'll see, I might actually have enough to get the Angel 6 uh, about a year when I come back through. I don't think so, though. So we'll come out this upper exit here. <clears throat> There's two things that we need to do. Open up an exit and try for the uh, AID Nightfall head. So if you come through here later on, um, after we get back from Port Nixon, then there's going to be a sniper up there who's a pain in the ass to deal with. Uh, so instead, we might as well do it now while it's a little bit safer. 
check them to see if either of them have a headpiece. We do. So we'll take these guys out really quickly. And chances are you're going to need to pull and deal with that one first. They'll both come. One of them will run back after you get far enough away. We'll see who comes and comes after us. Okay. So we got this one. Usually he's the one who comes. Break the shield. You can go for a body part if you want to. I'm just going to take this one out easy. Because all I'm after really here is the head. So I'm going to try and pull him back. And we'll try and get him without that other one. Should switch to melee now. Kind of bait him back a little bit. Directional block. Stun him. And the Nightfall headpiece is ours. Good job, good job. So, 903 tech scrap isn't quite going to be enough for us to get the Angel 6 body gear, but we've got everything else. So we'll end the episode here <clears throat> and pick up next with Port Nixon. Oh, I am going to show you this one piece of loot right down here. So drop down here, drop down again, and he got some loot there. Back into Seaside Court, and we'll pick up from the uh, Med Bay. So that's it for episode one. We'll see you back soon for episode two. I hope you found it useful and thank you for watching.